morning. Today we're going to work on hips. We're going to warm up the hips first and then stretch it out at the end. So good hip opener, hip strengthening for those who run or sit a lot. These will be really good for those deep glutes. <clears throat> Let's start in a seated position. Hands on your knees, one leg just comfortably in front of the other, eyes shut down if you can. And try to find some length in your spine and feel your breath. Taking a moment here to settle into the body. Notice if you're holding tension anywhere and see if you can release, relax a little bit. Maybe the knees can fall a little closer to the earth. If this position is really hard for you to relax in because you feel like you're holding, you might need to sit on a bolster or a block. Three more deep breaths here just to really get into our bodies. Trying to let the mind stay with the practice. We'll leave the to do lists and chores for after. And then your next exhale, go ahead and round your spine. You're going to rock back onto the tailbone, really cave up the belly. And then as you inhale, sink your chest your heart forward, off, or up the heart. And then exhale, roll back, pick up the knees a little bit, round. As you inhale, exaggerate, push your body weight in, you'll feel the hip. Probably your hip that the leg is in, the one, <laughs> the leg that's in front is the hip you'll feel right now. Inhale, press forward, exhale, round back. Good, and then we're gonna just switch legs. So now you're gonna feel the opposite hip. And if you don't, it might show you that one hip is tighter than the other. Inhale, sneaking that body. Try to exaggerate the movement. Exhale. So we are doing sort of a cat cow here. Inhale. And exhale. Go we'll take the legs just about mat. Uh, distance apart, hands behind you, just give your legs a little windshield wipe. See how that feels. <clears throat> Good, then we'll come on to all fours. Inhale, right leg goes up, look up, chest up. Exhale, curl, right knee and forehead knee. Inhale, reach up, look up, chest up. Exhale, right knee and forehead come in. Inhale. And exhale. Good. We'll take the left side now. Reset. Inhale. Exhale. When you lift that leg, try to squeeze your glute. Press that heel up and back. Push the earth away from your chest. And last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come back through center. Bring your knees just um, the wide width of your mat. And then sink your bum towards those heels. Walk your hands forward. Keep the elbows off the mat and press down through the chest. Good, keep breathing. Feel the shoulders a little bit here too. Good, we're gonna slowly round up. Find all fours, tuck those toes and hinge back to your first downward dog. So the feet will be sit bone distance apart, maybe walk them out. Feel your hamstrings and calves, spreading all 10 fingers, lengthening through the spine, relax the head, maybe shake no just to center it. We'll warm up with a little bit of sun salutation. So we're gonna bend the knees, inhale, reach back, exhale, step or hop. Gently to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale to fold. Bend your knees, root and rise. Inhale. Exhale, right away, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees a lot. Push into your palms. You're going to step back or hop gently into a plank. Take a breath in and exhale, lower slowly. Inhale, 
Come in for a cobra. Exhale. Push yourself back to a plank on the tops of your feet if you can. And then flip back down and dog. Inhale, reach back, bend your knees, look between your thumbs. Exhale, step or hop lightly to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back, feel the hamstrings. Exhale, bend your knees, breathe as you reach up, grow tall. Exhale, melting forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant those hands. You can step back or hop. Try to land softly, take a breath and plank, and then lower all the way down. Inhale, come up for cobra or upward dog. Exhale, plank, push back, hips, downward dog. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, breathe and reach, grow. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those hands. Ready? Step back. Nice, strong plank. Take a breath. Exhale, lower. Try to come down in one long line. Don't let the hips drop first. Inhale, sweep up for your upper dog or cobra. Exhale, back to a plank. And then come back. Downward facing dog. Good. Let's bring those feet together. We're going to open up those hands. Make sure you have a good piece of support through your hands. We're going to take that right leg up. Good. And then we're going to take your right knee open and try to avoid twisting your shoulders. So you can do that by looking under the left armpit or really trying to root down through that right hand because it tends to want to lift. Okay. We're going to draw a nice circle with the knee one way and then draw a circle the other way. Come back to downward dog split. Pull your leg in, round your spine. Okay, and we'll step that right foot through. Good, you can bring your back knee down to modify or leave it off the ground. And we're gonna inhale up for a crescent lunge. Exhale, come down. Good, lengthen the spine. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Exhale, come down, lengthen the spine. One more time. Inhale up, press a lunge. Exhale. Good. We're going to step back to your downward dog. Pedal at the feet. Bend your knees. Spread all ten fingers. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, step up to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, breathe, and reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, breathe, and reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Are you tired? Are you tired? Okay. Good. We're going to plant those hands down and jump back again to a plank. Take a breath. Exhale to lower. Inhale. Come in for upward dog or cobra. Exhale, back to your plank. And then hinge your hips up for downward dog. Okay, we're going to take your feet together. Bend your knees slightly. Left leg comes up. Open up that left hip. And to keep the shoulders square, you might look under the right armpit or just really push down through that left hand. And draw one circle with the knee. And then draw another one the other way. Come back to split. Pull your knee and round your spine, shoulders over wrists. And step that foot through. Good, stabilize. You can bring your back knee down as an option. We're going to inhale, come up for a crescent lunge. Exhale, come down. Lengthen the spine, drop your hips. Inhale, crescent lunge. Good, exhale. One more time, here we go. Squeeze your back glute to help support. Inhale, exhale. Good, plant those hands. We're going to step back to a downward dog. Roll forward to plank. Take a breath in, exhale to lower, inhale, scooch the chest up, cobra or upper dog, exhale, downward dog. Good, so pedal at your feet, just check in with those legs. We're going to take the right leg up again, open it up, okay, and then we're going to take it back to straight. As you exhale, pull your right knee towards that right wrist. 
and you're almost in pigeon, but we're not going to settle down here yet. We're just going to scooch that left knee back if you have the space to do that. I'm going to inhale, bring your heart up, chest up. Exhale like you're melting belly, heart, then your face. And then you're going to round. So angry cat, lift your mid back, shoulders, then your head, plant those palms, tuck the back toes, reach up back to down dog splits, and then open it back up. Come back forward. So we're dancing, dancing our pigeon up. Inhale at the bottom, nice long spine. Exhale, melt tummy, chest, then face. Lift the mid back, shoulders, then your head. Plant those palms, tuck the toes, reach it back, open up that hip, come back straight, inhale, exhale, open the heart, and melt down. Good lift. And this time we're gonna melt all the way down. If you have blocks or a bolster, you can put it under the chest and the forehead for some support. Or you can come right down onto the mat, or you can use fists to support your head and neck. And as we sit here in pigeon, maybe shut down your eyes and feel your right hip melting closer towards yours. Inhaling and exhaling to release. Let's do three more breaths here, trying to keep your mind on that right hip, breathing into it, and your exhale melting it away, getting a little heavier. Slowing down the breaths here. Last breath. You're going to carefully walk your hands under those shoulders, tuck your back toes. It might feel a little bit rough. We're going to send this leg back up for the splits and then open it up and then we're going to draw those circles again. So maybe two or three circles each way. There we go. And then take it straight for downward dog splits, right leg in the air. Exhale, pull your right knee in again. We're coming back to pigeon, just for a moment. Lengthen the spine, and then go ahead and sit onto your right hip, your right glute. We're going to take the left leg around. This time, your shin on the left is down, parallel to the front of your mat. And we're going to take our right leg and clear your opposite knee. So we're trying to get that upper ankle on top of your thigh not on the kneecap and you may feel like a pretzel if your hips are really tight you might look like this and your goal is to feel a stretch in your deep hip on that right side so this might be it for you otherwise see if you can let the legs come towards the earth for fire log pose and sometimes it just takes a moment to settle in find the muscles so it should feel deep in the right hip. And then if you have space, you might be able to come forward. And this one's uh, a pose that always looks different on everyone in a yoga class. So some people have their chest right down. Like I said, some with really tight hips might be back here. Others might just have enough stretch um, midway through just with a straight spine seated so wherever you feel that good intensity that good stretch that's where you want to hold it so mine's about here so I'm just going to hold here maybe again you can shut down your eyes and really focus on the sensations of that right feet As we inhale, we're breathing as if we could breathe into that hip. And exhale, getting a little heavier. Let's do 
three more here. Slowly walk yourself back to seated and we're just going to help that leg out give it a little rock and then we're going to take it over top of the other leg so you're trying to get knee on top of knee just check to make sure you have enough mat behind you and we're going to pull the shins or the ankles or the feet whatever you can grab onto a little bit closer to your body and your right leg is on top and round your spine contract your core because we're going to roll down with control don't uh, smash your head down and just Pull those legs in towards your body and you'll feel, again, your hip, but just a slightly different area. So we're really getting into the deep hip muscles, different angles of the muscles, really trying to get each section. And again, we're going to shut down those eyes. Breathing in to the hip and breathing out, melting it away. If you do find that right here, your head is, um, your shoulders are lifted and your head is dumping back, you might want to put a pillow or a bolster behind your head so that you're able to keep a long neck, long spine. We'll just go ahead and release that maybe bicycle your legs a little bit open them up in and out and just lie with your body and corpse pose shavasana and just feel the difference on the two sides inhale good morning stretch exhale knees come in we're gonna rock and roll back to downward facing dog so we're going to bend those knees, feet together, spread your fingers. we got to do the left side. So left leg up and turn that knee towards the sky. Look under your right shoulder or plant into that left hand to keep the core. We're going to rotate two or one or two times. Good. Come back to straight. Exhale, pull the knee and round your spine, shoulders over wrist. We're setting up for left leg pigeon. Scooch that right knee back if you need to. Inhale up, offer up the heart. Exhale, melt down, tummy, chest, face. Angry cat left, mid back, shoulders, head. Tuck the back toes, ready, power up into three legged dog, open it up. Good, come back to straight, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, look up, chest up. Exhale, melt down, tummy, chest, face, and round, mid back, shoulders, head. Push into your palms, open that left thigh. Inhale, exhale, open. Good, melting down. Here's our last one, round. Last plant, downward dog splits to open. Come back to straight. Setting up for a pigeon here. Take a moment, we're gonna do a melt down. Come back up one more time through that mid back. And then settling into our pigeon pose on this left side. Again, you can put a block or pillows under your chest and your face to support you. Maybe you can come right down to the mat and just spend some breath here trying to let go of that left side. Three more breaths, inhaling into your hips, exhaling to let it go. Slowly come up. Okay, we're gonna tuck the toes, power back. It's gonna feel a little rough maybe. We're going to send that leg back up and you're going to create
create a few circles with the knee. Just checking in. Good. Come back to splits. Come back to pigeon. Off throughout the heart. And then sit onto your left buttock. We're going to take your right leg around this time. Remember, the right leg now is on the bottom. So we're taking the shin parallel to the front of your mat. Your left ankle is going to clear that right knee joint. And you're going to find your fire log. I think it's called fire log because you're stacking your shins like logs. Maybe. <laughs> and we're going to just find that good intensity again. And usually one side is more flexible than the other side. So don't be surprised if your fire log looks different left to right. And here we'll shut down our eyes, check in with the breath and see if you can feel the difference between this one and pigeon. You're just targeting a different guide here, a different muscle group. Still in that left hip though. Good. Slowly come out of that. We're going to just take our left leg, give it a little rock, and we're going to place it right on top. You're trying to get your left knee on top of your right knee. You're going to Pull those shins or feet, ankles, whatever you can hold in, round your spine. And you're going to use your core to help lower you with control. And just gently pull those legs in towards your hips, knees towards the chest. Your tailbone might be off the floor. Shoulders and head are down. Again, you may need to prop your head with a pillow if you feel like your head is um, dumping back. And just here, use your breath to find that left hip. It's just a little bit different. It's so subtle, so you have to really pay attention to your body, listen to your body here. Good, gently release. Just Bicycle out your legs, maybe swing them side to side, holding your knees. We're gonna rock up to sit, like you did at the start. Roll your shoulders down and back and find the tall spine. And just notice now when you're sitting, does it feel maybe like your knees are a little closer to the earth? Are you able to let go a little bit through those hips? And just change leg now. We'll just check the other side. And if you don't feel it, that's okay. Sometimes it takes, you know, obviously more than one practice to loosen things up. It's just a moment to connect to your body. So I hope you enjoyed opening up your hips a little bit. We'll see you next time. Namaste.